Hi everyone, today we're looking at the lunar eclipse. I'm Donna Snellhorn. I do videos on feng shui and astrology. If you haven't already, please subscribe um, because I'm doing more and more videos. Anyway, today we are looking at the lunar eclipse. The lunar eclipse happens on July 16th. It's going to be a 24 Capricorn. Uh, so I need, uh, I need a pen tool. Okay. So, so here it is. So here's the moon at 24 Capricorn. And it is of course, directly opposing the sun here at 24 Cancer. Uh, all lunar eclipses fall on the full moon. So don't, don't panic when you see a, an eclipse on the full moon. It's supposed to happen this way. And so this lunar eclipse at 24 Capricorn is, of course, affecting people who are late degree Capricorn. I will place the date of people who are getting a direct hit in the description box below. Uh, and that is going to be Capricorn natives, you're going to get a direct hit. Of course, the sun is in Cancer, so Cancer natives, you're going to get a hit. Not all people born under the sign of Cancer, though, just some. And so uh, so I'm going to put the dates, your birth dates, in there, and so you can see if you're getting direct hit. In addition, because of the square energy, it also is some people born under the sign of Aries and some people born under the sign of Libra. And that's that's for sun sign hits. And so you can also have an eclipse that greatly affects you in uh in the rest of your chart. It maybe it's hitting your moon, maybe it's hitting uh you know other personal planets of yours, maybe it's hitting your ascendant. So unless you really know your chart, you'll have to sit down with an astrologer and say, hey, am I getting hit by this lunar eclipse? All right, but what what it means? What is it? What means? What means? English is new for me. Okay, so what does it mean to get hit by the lunar eclipse? Well, lunar eclipses are a little different than solar eclipses. Lunar eclipses of are more emotional. They are about an emotional shift where you might have a realization that reframes your whole life. You might uh, recognize, you know, that. Maybe you are not taking responsibility for some of your emotions, or maybe you're doing something that contributes to emotional distress when you thought it was something outside of you. So I, I, I have dog friends. <laughs> so I actually live overlooking a park. And so uh, oftentimes there's a lot going on in the park. Uh, so, so let's take a look at specifically what this lunar eclipse is doing in the way of energy, just like we would read a full moon chart, except it's a little bit more intense. And so when we take a look at this uh, particular lunar, the first thing that jumps out at me is the moon making this lunar eclipse is sitting very close to Pluto. Now, Pluto is a very interesting it is very intense energy and it can intensify the energy of what's around it. And we already have the moon, which is emotional. So during this period, what we're looking for is how we are run by our emotions, how we are guided by our emotions or even misguided by our emotions. So when Pluto is involved, what can happen is that we take the strongest emotion, which may not be the most appropriate emotion. It may not even be the emotion that we're wanting, but we take the strongest emotion and we get overwhelmed by it. So this could be that a person is 99% confident, but they have a little bit of fear. But in that moment, the fear was strong and then the fear overwhelms them and they can't get up on stage or they can't make their presentation. They suddenly feel like, wow, I was super confident yesterday and now I'm having a panic attack. And what you need to realize with this is this is temporary that the emotion will feel extremely intense, very strong. This is in an earth sign, so it can feel like a landslide of energy, just like rocks are just hitting you and all of that. And yet this will pass at some point, you know, everything reaches the lowest level it can. It's just the rocks stop falling on you and everything becomes still and quiet. 
but you can actively help with this energy by acknowledging what the emotion is so that if you said, geez, yesterday I was super confident about making my presentation. Today, I'm like shaking in my boots. The thing to do is to say, I'm afraid. And that's okay. To give yourself understanding, to, to say to yourself with compassion, it is okay that I'm afraid right now. And what will happen is the emotion will get less and less. By acknowledging it, the emotion will actually calm down. So, and of course, this is by saying it to yourself with compassion and understanding. If you say to yourself, I'm really afraid, I'm really afraid. Of course, you're just going to get more afraid because you're tensing up. But if you thought of it like if a little child came to you or if, or if, you, if there was a puppy and he was afraid, you would scoop the puppy up in your arms and you'd hold on to that puppy and you'd pet the puppy and you'd speak in this calm voice. It's okay that you're afraid. It's okay. And so when you do that with yourself, when you give yourself that emotional hug, your emotions will calm down. And that's what we do with this energy as we're seeing it. Now, the other thing that I wanted to point out with this energy of the lunar return is this really interesting square that we're doing. We're doing uh, Uranus at six degrees of Taurus, and that is square the Mars at nine degrees of Leo. Now, this aspect is separating. So in fact, it's already three degrees out there. So this energy is not something you're going to be doing, but something you have done. And this is something that you might have done over the last week or two that sets this eclipse off for you. And that is, this is about impulsive action. It's about a complete change of direction. So it's quite possible that a couple of weeks before this eclipse, you did something that is so out of the box for you, so different that you're still saying, I can't believe I did that. And maybe it is, maybe you signed up to do a solo at the church choir. Maybe you have uh, invested in some program to do investing. You know, maybe you asked somebody out and now you're like, oh my gosh, what did I do? And that's very interesting because that would then lead to the Pluto moon, this overwhelm of emotion and this lunar eclipse energy. So, but this thing is already done. It's already happened. And so the best thing for you to do is for you to just breathe through it and say, all right, I've set this in motion. Maybe it is a landslide, but I can handle it. Now, there are some other aspects here that I do find that are quite interesting uh, that have been going on a while. There is the North Node trying the Neptune, uh, still uh, doing that opposition to Saturn and the inconjunct to Jupiter. I talked more about these in the video on the solar eclipse that was two weeks ago. Those aspects are still here, and all of those would be read the same in this chart. So you just go back to that video if you want more information. Again, I want to say, if you're getting a direct hit from this eclipse, and those dates will be in the description box below, that means that there is something where you might be more emotional about it. There may be a need for you to make a shift emotionally. And so your first step is to... Uh, speak to your, your own personal self with love and compassion to really be understanding about the emotions you're feeling until the emotions settle down into some place where you can have really rational thought. Of course, if you are unsure if you're getting hit by the eclipse with other planets in your chart, check with an astrologer uh, or you know, send me a message in the description box below. I can have a quick look at your chart and see if you're getting hit. Uh, of course, I do consultations if you want to have detailed information. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.